When I was first applying to graduate school, unlike many of the people here, I didn't actually know what I wanted to do uh, in graduate school. I had taken uh, many classes in neuroscience uh, in my undergraduate career, and uh, a lot of them covered vision as the model system in neuroscience because it was basically the most well-known system in neuroscience. So I was actually fascinated to discover the vision science program where you could study all aspects of vision, everything from the mechanics of the eye up to uh, the dynamics of cortical vision, cortical perception. So for my first rotation, I uh, did a rotation in a lab that uh, dealt with computer graphics uh, where I was tasked to create a high-speed blurring algorithm to make uh, photorealistic images of how people, how patients would actually see the world. Uh, I was able to use some data I collected uh, at, in one of my classes uh, from a machine called the Shack Hartman Wavefront Aberrometer. And this thing actually measures the aberrations of the eye and lets you know exactly how the light travels through your eye. I was able to use the data from the Shack Hartman Wavefront Aberrometer to realistically render actual images of how I would see the world and it was very realistic and good looking. For my second rotation, I did some work with uh, a lab that uh, deals in psychophysics of uh, depth perception. I was able to work with a next generation 3D display, uh, which will hopefully in the future alleviate eye strain in 3D movies, but also let us probe the very subtle interaction between disparity cues and how we perceive the world in blur. I finally settled in a lab now where I'm using fMRI to probe human vision in, uh, and cortical models of vision, trying to understand how uh, the brain perceives images. Here we hope to create predictive models of human vision and eventually be able to create uh, future brain-machine interfaces. Even though everyone in the vision science program studies vision from vastly different perspectives using vastly different techniques, the unifying goal for studying vision actually creates a very interesting dynamic and it brings together an excellent group of people. Whether you're interested in studying myopia progression or cortical models of vision, vision science has a spot for you. For me, one of the most important aspects of the vision science program is the student's ability to focus on research. With just one year of required coursework, I was able to join the lab of my choice and jump right into a research project that allowed me to use my knowledge and passion for optics and engineering in order to design and build a new system for eye tracking. With the program being so multidisciplinary, I'm able to interact with and ask questions of faculty who are experts not only in my field, but also areas outside my field as well, such as biology and optometry. And this has allowed me to see the larger picture when designing and building a system for biomedical imaging. Another important aspect of the program, for me personally, has been our opportunity to teach. I found a new love and passion for teaching that I may not have discovered had it not been for our two semesters of teaching assistantships. So the Berkeley Vision Science program is proof that you don't have to sacrifice excellence in order to have a warm and supportive environment. There's such a broad uh, spectrum of research interests that go from very applied things that are clinically relevant to patients with low vision and vision impairment to very theoretical work that's studying models of the brain and the visual system from a very um, cutting edge uh, standpoint. So I appreciate the diversity of the students and faculty in the vision science program. Uh, my background is computer science and I applied to a variety of schools before coming here from computer science to neuroscience to bioengineering and uh, as soon as I visited Berkeley and met some of the people in the vision science program I knew this was definitely the place for me. I think the rotation system is very unique because it gives you an opportunity to try a variety of different research questions. So I was able to experience uh, functional imaging as well as computational neuroscience modeling and finally ended up doing more basic research in visual perception. There were fields I didn't even know about before coming to the vision science program and definitely my eyes have been open to a wide range of research possibilities. I had a pretty clear idea of what I wanted to do so I directly emailed the head of the lab I was interested in and asked whether as a French student I could apply to the program. The funding can be challenging, but I believe with motivation and the right environment, things can happen. I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to do basic research with strong biomedical application. Vision science gave me this opportunity. The research that we do in the lab 
using the cornea as a model to study blood and lymphatic vessels has a direct impact in preventing blindness. But our result goes well beyond the eye. Actually, did you know that most of the anti-cancer drugs on the market right now derive from studies that has been done in the cornea? A PhD in vision science from UC Berkeley will definitely be an amazing asset for my career. And in a broader way, I would say it's a life-changing experience. Beyond the freedom to explore scientific questions, I feel that here we are in a unique place where the faculty are really approachable. Undergrads dedicated to their education and willing to help you in your own research project. We can also reach out to other departments like the Haas Business School and further define our own curriculum. Seriously, this is a world of opportunities.